Welcome back. This is the latest update on the tensions in North Korea. On Thursday, two Chinese Su-30 flanker jets intercepted a United States Air Force WC-135 Constant Phoenix over the East China Sea. This is a large jet used for atmospheric sampling and has been sent by the US Air Force to the region to monitor a possible sixth nuclear test by North Korea. Apparently in a move that is designed to intimidate, one of the Chinese jets executed a highly dangerous maneuver and flew upside down or inverted over the large American aircraft. A spokesman for the US Air Force said the unprofessional incident was being investigated and the issue would be addressed with China through diplomatic and military channels. A mistake by either the US or Chinese pilots could have resulted in a collision and the loss of both aircraft and crews. This highlights how the tensions in the North Korean peninsula have drawn in some major global players resulting in potentially dangerous incidents. In other news the US Navy has sent another aircraft carrier to the area. The USS Ronald Reagan has just completed maintenance and sea trials in Yokosuka, a Japanese port, and has now been dispatched to join the USS Carl Vinson on the Korean Peninsula. Both Nimitz-class carriers, with crews of over 4,500 and approximately 60 aircraft, the two carriers will be involved in a variety of training exercises, widely believed to be a show of force following North Korea's recent successful ballistic missile test a week ago. This could also be seen as a veiled message to both Russia and China that the US is preparing to act if it becomes necessary. Although a sixth nuclear test by North Korea has not yet happened, there has still been activity seen at the test site where previous tests have taken place. And after the North Korean ambassador was quoted as saying a test will take place at a time and place of their president's choosing, it is likely there will be a sixth test sooner or later. In fact, on Friday, North Korea's deputy to the UN said their nuclear program will continue to be strengthened to counter US aggression and it would never abandon its nuclear defence and preemptive strike capability. The US has called for even tighter sanctions from the UN, although this seems to have no effect on the North Korean dictatorship. At the same time, the Pentagon Defence Secretary, Jim Mattis, said there was a need for a peaceful resolution as a military conflict would be, quote, tragic on an unbelievable scale. Two other US defence officials confirmed this week that the ballistic missile test by North Korea was successful and showed a controlled, planned re-entry, showing a considerable advancement in their missile programme. For its part, North Korea stated that it now has a medium to long-range ballistic rocket capable of carrying a heavy nuclear warhead. This comes at the same time as a piece of propaganda footage emerged showing Kim Jong-un's proposed missile routes to four US targets. Possibly leaked on purpose as a warning to President Donald Trump, it shows the targeted areas of Hawaii, San Diego, Barksdale Air Force Base and Washington DC after Kim promised to reduce the US to ashes and strike at the heart of America. The state of Hawaii has even become so concerned it has applied for fallout shelters in order to protect its citizens. With North Korea's latest missile test it is obvious their goal of creating a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile is getting even closer. In his relatively short rule as North Korean's leader, Kim Jong-un has conducted an incredible 75 missile tests and the North Koreans are learning more with each one, whether successful or not. It has become such a concern that now the US Marines and the South Korean Army are undertaking training exercises to prepare them to attack North Korean nuclear facilities. What the coming days and weeks will bring, nobody knows. Let us just hope sanity prevails and nothing tips the balance 
towards an all out conflict. Thanks for watching and check back for further updates as the situation develops. The world is watching. Hit that like button and be good to each other. This is Gruftikins signing off.